Ooh. Ooh, hello. Oh, it's a lovely big brim. Something big there. It's got big swell. Yes! Fishing in wine country. Okay, we're down on the Swan River today. I'm gonna get rid of the rest of the ground bait that was left over from the carp trip. It's using bread and sweet corn. It's gonna use the same exact rig. It's literally still sitting in the car. And see if we can help pick up some brim, or bream as it's spelt, but the black brim is how it's pronounced here. Very similar to a sea bream that you would get in England. Um, but this is more brackish water, it's a bit of a mixture, uh, fresh and salt, and we're up in the, the winery region, in the Swan Valley. And see if we can't get a couple of brim on the old carp gear, so see what happens. Okay, I've nestled into a little spot in between two trees. It's lovely and shaded. It's about as crab tree as you could probably get in Australia. Unfortunately, there's a man-made bank with loads of metal wire on it but you get that but yeah i would have rather have gone somewhere else but it's a bit packed and with family life is the way it is you uh you're generally late and you have to prioritize but here we are i haven't checked the depth yet so i'm going to keep it as is for now and just see what happens and then i'll probably just try and go a bit deeper but see what happens underneath this tree i've introduced a little bit of ground bait some bread and some corn and i'm going to start with the corn and then change up if needed literally just under there just under that tree let's just see what happens okay what I've done is I'm literally just on the other side of the tree um, from where I was before I've actually taken the float off and just slid all the shot right the way down just to make a little hook link there God, that took a lot longer than I thought it would ah oh, he's gone Whee, that's better Ooh. Ooh, hello. This doesn't feel like a bad fish. Bloody right, it took ages. Usually I come here, I must admit it's a lot quieter. I just pick fish after fish, but whatever this is, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Wee. Oh, it's a lovely big brim. Oh, yeah, that's lovely, that. That's what you want. Eee, there we go. Finally. Look at that. That's a lovely fish. He just bit me. Look at the teeth on that. Nasty chompers on there. They just got me. Lovely. Mission accomplished. The old carp bait came through. All right, let's give it a quick measure and I'll pop it back. Give him the release he deserves. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Fought really, really hard. See you later, man. Excellent. All right, let's see if we can get one more before we go. something big there it's got big swell yes it's not big it's only a little one I'm more interested in what created that swell over there hey. there we go lovely little silver black brim
<laughs> got one. I thought it was a lot bigger than this because it went straight into a snag and then I just got a bit fed up, let the line go slack, put the rod down, try to count the 10 and then it zoomed back out again. It's only a tiny little one. Uh, typical, I've got pretty much got to go. The missus is going to be angry, I'm already late. But I just wanted to catch a few more fish to be honest. Uh, it's just semen all over me, that's crap. <laughs> Must be spawning time. Uh, well, this may be the last fish you see. But at least we got one decent one out and got rid of all that old stinky bait out of the car. So that's two good things, I suppose. Stay tuned. Doesn't feel like a brim. It is. Another little one. Gotcha. Little twig disgorger did the trick there. Another little brim. Typical, the GoPro battery died. Another little brimmy. Lovely little fish. Right. I am officially in trouble. I'm way too late. But uh, bugger it, if I'm in trouble, I might as well get really, really in trouble and stay for a bit longer. <laughs>